Hey there drone fans, Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's video, I'll show you how to use the Drone Valley wireless microphone kit with your smart controller to easily add audio to your next drone video while you're flying your drone in real time. Now this product was designed by the team here at Drone Valley to work perfectly with every model of DJI smart controller that's been released, including the original smart controller, the DJI RC Pro, the DJI RC, and even the brand new DJI RC2. And we've tested it extensively with every one of these controllers and it works flawlessly and it's incredibly easy to use. Unfortunately, if you have a standard controller like this one, or the smaller gray one, or the smaller black one from the older drones, it won't work with the standard controller. And the reason for that is that the standard controllers don't have an operating system built in. They use the operating system in your phone or your tablet to actually run the application, and they can't record audio. These have an Android-based operating system inside the controller, and that's needed to actually record that audio. So if you have a smart controller, you're going to be perfectly fine with this unit. Now, before I get into the procedure of how you can actually record the audio, which is incredibly simple, basically, you plug in the receiver, you turn on the microphone, you start a screen recording, you fly your drone, you land your drone, you stop the screen recording, and you'll have a file that is the video and the audio combined. And you can use that on your social media channels, or you can bring it into an editing program and add other footage to it. It's incredibly simple. But I'll walk you through that process in a minute. But before I do, I thought I'd do a quick unboxing just to show you everything that comes with the kit. Now, when you open up the box, you'll find this really nice carrying case, which is also a charging case. There's a USB-C connection on the bottom that you can use to charge it. There's a battery in the bottom of this, so when you're charging the case, you're charging the internal battery and you're charging the microphone, which has a battery in it as well. When you open it up, you'll find a receiver module that has a USB-C connection on the top, and you'll find the microphone. And it's just that simple. So the microphone clips onto your lapel, turn it on, make the connection to the receiver, and start recording. It's just that easy. Now the case has a magnetic catch on it, so when you're done for the day, just slide it back in the case. It hangs in there magnetically, so it's not going to slide out. There's plenty of room for the receiver, and you're good to go. Also included with the kit is a charging cable. It's a USB-A to USB-C. You can plug this into any standard wall charger or your computer, or in your car if you've got an outlet in there. And the other side of it is a USB-C, which plugs into the bottom of the charging case. You can use any cable to charge it as long as it's a USB-C connection. And then finally, there's a full instruction manual also included that lists everything you could possibly want to know about the wireless kit. The only important thing in here that I think you should pay attention to is there's an LED in the microphone that has different modes when it's actually connecting and recording and a few other things that are explained in the manual. So if you're having issues with it, contact us first. But if you can't figure it out, check the manual. It might list the condition of blinking lights on that microphone. All right, so let's talk a little bit about how you use the product. And again, it is incredibly simple. So all of the smart controllers have a single USB-C port on the bottom, except for the DJI RC. So the original, the RC Pro, and the RC2 all have a single USB-C port on the bottom. So all you've got to do is plug the receiver into that USB-C port, turn on the microphone by pushing this button on the side over here hole to get in until the light comes on. You'll see the light connect to the receiver, and you're ready to go. So once you've made that connection, all you have to do at that point is start a screen recording. Now, starting a screen recording on these smart controllers is incredibly easy. You'll basically tap the top of the screen and then pull down, and that will reveal the main settings menu for the controller. And you'll see a button labeled screen recording. You can simply tap that to start the screen recording, and then go out and fly your drone and have a lot of fun. And when you're done, land your drone and hit the stop button, which will stop the screen recording. Now, that will produce a file that has the video from the flight, as well as the audio you've recorded through the microphone in a single file, and that'll be located in the movie folder, either on the internal storage of the controller or on the SD card if you're using one of those. And then you can simply transfer that file to your computer, bring it into your editing program if you want to edit it, or directly post it to social media, and you'll have crystal clear audio on top of the video that you've recorded while you were flying. And we designed this to be incredibly easy to use. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So thanks a lot for watching. And until next time, as always, happy flying.